I know y'all motherfuckers gonna get on a nigga head, so here's the glamour and shit. And these are just in my opinion. What's good, your motherfucking nigga here? All right, go, nigga. I wanna build with y'all real quick. Uh -huh. so let's get in the ride. Yeah. Let's go to the store. Let's talk. All right. Y'all ready? Oh shit, this nigga playing some motherfucking Scarface, nigga. Shit. Ooh, shit. Hit these motherfucking eight corners and shit, these streets and shit. You know, thank y'all for watching the motherfucking show. Now, uh, we about to talk about some motherfucking things, and I don't want people to get offended and shit. But I was tuning in to some sinful to pee and shit, and he was airing out Poppy, Hussein Campbell, and you know, we gonna discuss some issues and shit, right? Now, uh, these are these are my opinions and shit. So I cut it nice, and uh, you know, I'm a hood nigga, and I'm gonna show y'all some hood shit, you know what I'm saying? Like some of this right here. Ooh, yeah, tantalizing and shit. Now, see the sister right here? Can you tell me what her name is in five? What is her name? Yeah, I know, I, I know. Now let's get it. Teddy! Introduce the No problem, MK. We got Sinful the motherfucking P versus Hussein Campbell. Shot Town versus New York. Sinful the P is saying Bam was your boyfriend. Let's get it. When did they sit up there and, and do that? These niggas is all talk. It's the pedophile hustle. It's the pedophile hustle. It's the pedophile hustle. They know that they can get a lot of money from you because of what you've been through. And because you're so caught up in the emotionalism, it's the pedophile hustle. Reduce and reduce you simply because you believe the lies, the test of lies that they're telling you. It's the pedophile hustle. It's the pedophile hustle. I mean, basically, for those of you that didn't know, had basically used uh, African Bombada's name to gain fame. At first, when he first came out, I thought he was sincere. I thought he was a sincere brother that had been molested, that had been taken advantage of, you know what I mean, by this man. You know what I mean? I thought that African Bombada had really, you know, took advantage, you know what I mean, of his son. And the song was going to be used by Yah to be a blessing to all of you that have went through similarities, you know what I mean, as far as being molested. And that's what I thought. You know what I mean? I, I, really, I really thought that. You know what I mean? Um, but just to be all the way 100, when you keep paying attention to an individual, they will reveal themselves. You know, it's almost like you don't even have to do diligent research. They will reveal themselves as they keep talking. And as he began to keep talking and talking and talking, I said, this, this guy didn't get, you know what I mean? It is, no, no, that ain't what happened. It's the pedophile hustle. Oh, no, that ain't what happened. It's the and let's just say this. Uh, and before I even say this, hold on, let me say this. To those of you that have been molested, I don't want to say anything to offend you at all, okay? God bless you. May the peace of God comfort you in your time of discomfort, okay? So this is not a shot at individuals who have been molested, okay? I don't want to offend anybody. But what I have to make known is there are individuals who take advantage of those who have been molested. Because within the urban community, within the ghetto, you know what I mean, you have people who have been molested. And if you a guy, you know what I mean, if you're a man, that's not something that you boldly sit up there and testify about, okay? So it was kind of like a blessing when we seen this individual, you know what I mean, coming out, not being afraid to be ridiculed, criticized, and minimized by society, you know what I mean? And just people on YouTube, he was coming, you know, with boldness. So I felt that, you know, and I was like, man, you know, uh, damn, okay. You know, I ain't with the homosexual thing, or, you know, but at the same time, he was taking advantage of. And if y'all remember even uh, previous videos, 
I was the one encouraging people to stop signifying, stop sitting over there using his pain, you know what I mean, to minimize him. Stop sitting over here using that man's past when he was molested to sit up there and roast him. You can't roast a child for being molested. What type of sick mind is that? But once I learned the age, and then I learned the circumstances, and then when I seen certain pictures with you as an adult with him, fuck me up, it's the because if somebody is the pedophile was to molest me, see he talking all of this gangster talk, but I know there's some niggas that is in agreement with me. But if I was a child, and you sit up there and put your hands on me inappropriately, there will be problems. I can give a less fuck about, oh man, you know, you don't know how dangerous the Zulu nation is, and you don't know how, you know what I mean? Man, fuck all of that. I'm just gonna have to die in the process of trying to sit up there and kill your motherfucking ass for what you did to me as a child. You will not catch me in any pictures smiling or standing next to you, okay? Because at that point, it's a relationship at this point, okay? We in a relationship. If you get into a continuity of doing that, now it becomes a relationship. So now, you know what I mean? When your gay lover, you know what I mean, didn't want to take care of you no more, when he sat up there and said no, and he didn't want to give or be a blessing or whatever, he didn't want to see you no money. Now it's a problem. Now it's a problem. How come it wasn't a problem from when it started? How did you continue to sit up there and co-sign that shit? And that's why I'm not buying the whole, you know, uh, yeah, you know, I let him live. No, you didn't let him live because, you know what I mean, that you was just so full of, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 like, yeah, I could have, but no, no. That was your ex-boyfriend. You let your ex-boyfriend live. You stuck up for your man. That's why all of this tough image, you know, to lift weights, to have big arms and listening to rap music and all of that shit, that is a image. That is not you. You are a tender young boy. And the reason why I say that he's a tender young boy is because look how easy it is for him to emotionally react to things. Look how easy it is for individuals to play with his mind. You know what I mean? The boy just ain't fit to leave. Not at all. But, you know, and, and then, has anybody ever thought about the perspective of African Bimbada? Now, of course, we're not involved in homosexuality. We not in that. We not in that at all. You know, shouts out to Prince for the ten dollars, man. Thank you, bro. You know what I mean? I think somebody else had gave something. Dollar fifty came to the five, man. I appreciate that. But let me say this: if you was in a relationship with an individual, of course, y'all can't fathom it because you niggas is straight, so you can't even think. You know, but just think about it from a woman with you in a uh, relationship with a woman, and this woman that you took care of, you nurtured, you empowered, you know what I mean? You sit up there and gave her enlightenment, encouragement, development. You was a blessing to this woman. And then this woman, you know, uh, because of a misunderstanding that y'all have, a quote that y'all have, you sit up there and she, you look up on the uh, internet and you see the woman that you used to take care of and that you done made love to and had passionate times with. You was there for her when she when she needed you. She was in jail or she did something so, you know, to I me mean, unlawful. She ended up going to prison and you put money on her books. And now that you decide to stop being a blessing to her and for some, the sugar daddy, when you decide to be, stop being a blessing to her and stop being her motherfucking sugar daddy and she can't get no withdrawals from the bank no more from you. Now all of a sudden she says, well, since I can't get any more currency from you, because I can't get any more prosperity from you, 
I'm going to memorize your name and I'm going to sit up there and come up off your name and gain fame from it and I'm going to turn the fame into some money. It's the pedophile hunt. It's the pedophile hunt. It's the pedophile hunt, little nigga. But one thing that he's not going to reveal is the real information about his relationship with Bam. Now, who said you That's what he's not going to do. And see, uh, a man taking advantage of a child, that's not funny. But a young male who is involved with a man and continue to be with that man in a relationship and then get on the internet after like, you understand me, he got taken advantage of, nigga, you funny, nigga. Nigga, it's the pedophile hustle. It's the pedophile hustle. Nigga, you a comedian, and you done told on yourself, especially in that interview where they asked him, when was the first time y'all had a one-on-one? -on -one? When was the first time that you had dealings with him? And he can't even sit up there and, and, and explain. Well, well, you know, <laughs> I, <laughs> you, uh, you wanted to know, you wanted to know the first time that we... <laughs> Well, you know, I can't really tell you the first time, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, because my, it's so old and long ago, I really can't remember like that, but, uh, you know, it was just one time. Like a bitch. Nigga, you freestyle lying. You freestyle lying, nigga. Come on, man. Well, if you've been molested, you're going to be able to sit up there and go into, you, you know. That's something that's not going to depart out of your mind. And as Elder Patillo said in the last video that he said, you know what I mean, this, I just got to keep it uh, 100. The nigga, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, Elder Patillo, he said up there and stated something that Oprah had said. You know what I mean? And Oprah said up there and said that, you know, uh, she was molested, but the worst thing about being molested is that she liked it. See, that's why Hassan don't want to sit up there and admit he liked it. Like it, he liked it. He liked what happened between him and African Bombada. Uh, he liked, that man, he man. liked it. Uh, he liked it. Yeah. That's why it kept going. That's why you didn't sit up there and go to the police. That's why you didn't make a big deal out of it because you liked it. Ooh, my that's why. It's the pedophile hustle. It's the pedophile hustle. It's the pedophile hustle. Man, if you want my motherfucking opinion, it's just my opinion, man. Them niggas was in a relationship, man. <laughs> that was his boo thing. Why you can't call nobody back? And which one of your hoes you messing with has somebody shooting at you? See, I don't know why I waste my...